Jeez, just so many, so many. Look at these, nice size. Shad. Oh, hi there, Freddy. Ricky, what are you doing, big dog? Yeah, <laughs> oh, what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. I'll tell you what Freddy's been doing. He just woke up from a long cat nap. Oh, yeah, midday cat naps for old fat Freddy. I'm telling you, he's a beefcake. All he wants to do is sleep and ride around in the truck with old daddy. But welcome back to another one, guys. Uh, much different video. We're getting into fishing season, y'all. Fishing season is pretty much upon us, if not right on the edge of it. And uh, yesterday, I was making a video, the guide video, you know, the truth if I enjoyed it or not. A lot of you were there with me. And I stumbled across something that I have personally never seen never never one time in my life have i seen this many dead fish and uh it really caught me by surprise and i basically ran here I, it basically startled me so bad that i was like you know what i'm just gonna stop it right there and i'm gonna go make a video over it because 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 i personally don't like a hundred percent know why they're all dead uh this is one of uh my lease ponds that we hunt during the guide season waterfowl mostly duck and goose hunting and where'd he go Brad! oh there he is come on bud sorry didn't mean to yell at you come on come on Gerald and I, when we hunted it a couple times, we were really curious if there was fish in there because we wanted to come back and try to bass fish it and whatnot. Well, it turns out there was a ton of fish in there and a ton of shad, carp, some small bullheads. Um, but I'm going to take you all there. I didn't get to look at the pond very much whatsoever, and I honestly need your guys' help for an explanation. Uh, just don't know. I, my guess is... The big cold that came, that's why. We, we, have, we have not been that cold in so long that I think it just wiped the fish out on certain depths of ponds. I don't know. Y'all have to leave a comment anytime during this video. Please drop a comment down below. It'll be like, Bob, this is why, or this is what I think, or this is what I've seen, or this is what I've read has happened. I think it's because of the cold. Do I think they were poisoned? I don't know. We need to get there and check it out. But I do have a little bit of mail that I did not get to open the other day. Oh, right there. There it is. Right here. This is from Adrian Daniel. He's from Colorado. And he sent me something. And uh, y'all know that you can send anything. You can send a simple letter just like old Adrian did. Check it out. Yep, the old P.O. box. It's available for letters, pictures, memorabilia that I can put up in the lodge. That's what I like the most. Like, if y'all don't understand what I'm saying, like all of these. Yeah, all these old decoys. Oh, yeah. Oh, and these old plates. Your boy loves that kind of stuff. But like always, every single video down in the description, the P.O. box is linked down there. Feel free to send anything you'd like, just as long as it's legal, safe, all the above. Dear Bobby Guy, I am 16 years old and my passion is chasing waterfowl. I've been hunting since I was little and shot my first duck at the age of nine. Ever since I have found your channel on YouTube, you have inspired me to keep pursuing waterfowl. I love your content and I got my dad hooked on your channel as well. You have taught me a lot about waterfowl hunting and sometimes or, or oh and some tips and tricks uh, i also got inspired by you to start a pigeon loft i started with an old chicken coop and 20 feral pigeons from there i got some fancier ones uh, from a breeder and began flying them once again i want to say thank you for being an inspiration to me keep up the good work sincerely adrian dude if i'm ever in a bad mood or if i never or, or, if i ever need a pick me up Thank you all. Thank you all. Like, uh, it's a different gig, you know, holding this camera in front of you, running a lodge. You imagine me spilling in this door at 4 a.m. Yeah! <laughs> and all of the clients are like, dang, 
Bobby's ready to go. We better, you know, every day. Every day. Uh-huh. You ready, Frederick? Yeah? Okay. Enough blabbing. I'm going to grab the waders. Actually, I think they're in here. And we're going to head to the pond. Uh, again, please, 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 during this video, drop your two cents. If you're like Bob, this is what it is, feel free. Man, I am missing the clients in here, though. I'll tell you what. I'm missing all the clients. I'm missing all the action. I'm serious. So many good times made, so many to make yet. By the way, the uh, books will be opening up in a few weeks. I'm, uh, I'm gunning for April 15th is what will open to the public and we'll start booking from the public. April 15th, so follow Sand Hill Flyway, y'all. Woo! It is windy, y'all, and I mean really, really, really windy. It's like 40 mile an hour wind, steady wind right now. Uh, they put a red flag warning out for literally the entire state. Oh gosh. But we're here at the old Lease Pond and uh, it's crazy. I've never seen this many dead fish in my life. Lots of shad, lots of carp. Some are pretty darn big from what I seen yesterday just by glancing at it. I didn't take a hard look yesterday. I literally just seen it, shut down the video, and now we're back. So let's go see what's up. I'm leaving Fred in the truck. I don't know how poisonous or if this could give him the number twos real bad, but it can't be good for him if he got into it because all these fish, it is unreal. And when I mean, I just, I mean it, unreal. I've never seen this many. Oh, it smokes the whole bank now. It looks like they're just here on the south end of the pond, which tells me they blew up here on a north wind, so it was cold. I'm guessing, honestly. Good Lord, we're gonna start at this end and just walk that way. I wanna film them all. Lots of, lots, oh my gosh. Crazy, I never even thought that there was this many fish in this pond. To be completely honest, wow. All right, here we go. Y'all have to drop a comment down below. What happened? My guess is the freeze. They could be poisoned. I don't know, maybe it just got so low. You tell me. Look at this. Now, we're on the, uh, what would be the southeast corner of the pond. Now it does go up that way. You can see it all right there. It goes up a little bit, but this is where it really starts. Tons and tons. This is just the beginning. I'm just gonna keep walking with you. We'll stop and look, but lots of shad. I never guessed that there was this many shad in here. Oh, look at that. This is why I didn't want to bring Fred in here. Look at that big fish there. Big old catfish. Jeez, that's a bummer, man. Look at that. Good looking catfish, nice size. Man, good eatable size. I'm sure there are coons all over this thing. Wow. All right, we'll keep rolling here. That stinks. It would have been fun to come fish this this summer. But here's the bank. This is where we hunted all the time, if you guys remember right. We had a bunch of full bodies every time and all just this whole thing filled with floaters. Check it out. We're just going to walk along here. Look at them. Nice size. Look at that. Little bullhead. Yeah, I don't know what's... Again, guys, if you have any info, I don't know if there's any other videos out there. But look at this. Crazy. I'm sure there's a lot of you that are a lot smarter than me and know exactly why. So please inform us all. Another nice sized catfish. Jeez. Just so many. So many. Look at these. Nice size. Shad. God. More catfish. Everything in this thing. Literally everything. I mean, it doesn't stop. 
I mean it. Look at this. This is the uh, most concentrated part. All these. Look underneath this. Underneath this tree. Just unreal. Is that a gar? No. Look at this. A gar. No way. Look at that. That would be a gar. Never would have guessed. Never would have. Oh. Woo! That's why I didn't want Fred in here. It stinks. It has been. Uh, ugh. This side's real bad. It's been, uh, man, it's hit 70 degrees, 70 degrees, quite a few days here. Ooh, we got some really big fish up there. More catfish. I never would have guessed this many fish were in this little pond. It's, it's actually good size, as you can tell. It's really not too small, but check this out. We got some big fish up here. Oh, man, this is a bummer. It really is. It doesn't look like anything lived. Got some really nice catfish here. Look at that. Real nice. Man. Ugh, that's just makes you sick. More catfish. Jeez. Yeah, it just keeps going. I've been walking forever. More catfish. Jeez, we're gonna have to call the farmer. I'm, I'm sure the farmer uh, probably don't even know. I don't know, he might stock it. I'd, we better tell him, I'm gonna have to get a hold of Gerald and let him know so he can let the farmer know. Ooh, look at that bass. Dad gum. That's a big one. Oh, look at that. That's a really big bass. Check that out. Dang it. Man. I bet the eagles and the raccoons and all these seagulls. Look at these seagulls above me. Yeah, you know what they've been doing. I know you suckers. This is just a buffet. Perch. Sheesh. This is way worse than I thought originally. On this side, it's all catfish. Jeez. Ugh. Well, I hope by now y'all have put your two cents down there. Let me know what y'all think, because this is sad deal. Sad deal. A lot of good fish out here. Lots. Oh my lord, that's a big one. Look at this. Man. Here in Kansas, uh, we love our catfishing. I'm gonna tell you right now. Flathead, catfish, look at this. Good, good sized catfish here. That's a, I don't know, probably a six, seven pounder at least. Maybe eight, I don't think he'd go 10. Uh, that's sad. Look at this. All just littered up in this tree. Just all through this tree. Man. Well, there we go. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get a, actually, before we shut the video down here, I'm gonna get a hold of Gerald and uh, I'm gonna have him get a hold of the farmer and just let him know. And then I wanna talk to Gerald before we shut the video down to see if uh, the farmer did stock it at one time or every season there's so many shad it's unreal i would uh, if my guess my guess would be shoot you tell me how many do you think how, how many dead drop a comment down below how many dead fish do you think are in here it's just sad man if it was the cold which I think it was. I think that, I honestly think that some of these fish got trapped under the ice. This is not a deep pond at all. And I think it completely capped over. And I don't know if the fish are just not hardy enough 
for it down here, you know, or if, I, I don't know, I need help from y'all, please. Yeah, if you guys have experienced anything like this too, let us all know where, like where. Oh, it stinks. Wait, we're back home and I am cooking for the family. Got the old grill going, uh-huh. Corn, baked taters. Yeah, I got the works going on today. Um, long story short, so Joe, uh, big shout out to Joe. Fred, come on, dude. Let's go. Come on, Soph. Come on. Look, she hates the grate. Look. Look. Oh, the boot cleaning grate. She hates it. She won't walk on it. Uh, so Joe was like, hey, Bob, uh, as shallow as that pond is, when a lot of uh, small water like that freezes up that tight, uh, pushes them fish down. And uh, long story short, low oxygen. Low oxygen over a certain amount of time. So if, uh, if your pond or a pond that you've came across looks just like that, that's probably the case. Uh, but if you guys think of something else, still drop a comment down below. If you found out otherwise, please let us all know. Check out what I got going on. Oh yeah, you know me. Favorite food ever. Macaroni, buttered asparagus, chicken, a ribeye, which the ribeye's for me, the chicken's for mama and them kids, and some avocado dip. Oh yeah. One thing about it I want to show y'all. The duck seasoning, the all meat seasoning, it is the bomb. I use it literally, oh, that was a little too much in one spot, but we'll take it. I use it for everything. The kids love it, I love it, mama loves it. It goes great on chicken, it goes great on steak. I honestly would not use one single thing else, and I completely mean that, and I guarantee you, Gerald, Joe, Preston, my wife, anybody that's used it, We'll say the same thing. It's amazing. Try it out if you haven't. Uh, I think we're restocked. It really goes fast all the time, but I'm gonna get to grilling. Uh, yeah, really sad. I was hoping to fish that pond. Now I know, you know, give it a year or two and it'll probably be thriving again, hopefully, but I'm sure um, all the water systems across the US, or at least the Midwest, let's put it that way, had just got pummeled, especially down south here. Ugh. If you want to add any info uh, to any of this, please drop your two cents below. I know I've asked 10 times, but it's important. I want to learn more about it. I've never seen it here in Kansas, but I've also never seen the record lows that we had for such a long time here in Kansas as well this past winter. So I'm pretty sure that's our, that's our answer, bud. That's our answer. But thank you all for being here. Uh, I'm done. We'll see y'all on the next one.